In this video, we're gonna go step-by-step step through your kitchen and find items that you might have too many of that you can declutter to free up some space in your cupboards and just have a more simplified kitchen. The first item that you've probably accumulated more than you actually need and you need to go through and declutter and find the ones you use and the ones you don't and get rid of the ones you don't are something that we keep up here. Ow! Water bottles. It actually hurt. A water bottle hit my fingernail right on the end. Water bottles are like the mice of the kitchen. You start with a couple and you put them in a cupboard or a drawer and you open up that drawer or cupboard a couple weeks later and there's like 48 water bottles. I have found all these water bottles here. <laughs> Plus then I remembered we actually have a drawer with more, geez, more water bottles. And so some of these, like this one, I think I'm going to donate. I don't know if we have the cap at all. We have a, a couple different caps. So I think, I'm not sure where this one came from. You can't actually put ice in there. So it does have a lid. Now, as far as donating water bottles or throwing them in the garbage, every time I go to a thrift store, there are shelves and shelves of water bottles. And I feel like, do people actually buy used water bottles? I don't know. I'm not sure that I would, especially if it had any threads on the top or that little seal inside could get kind of dunky or I don't know. So I might just kind of throw this one in the trash. Here's a couple of random caps for some. This is another water bottle that I think we could probably get rid of. This was a gift from my mom, but if you take a flashlight and look on the inside, it's got kind of icky and this is getting kind of gummed up. So I think this one might go too. So there we go. Got rid of three water bottles. My kids use these squeezy water bottles for sports. So we'll keep a couple of those. And then we just have some random ones, which we probably could get rid of too, but we do take them camping. So if you're wondering how many water bottles you need in your house, there's actually a really easy math equation you can do. You take the number of people in your house and you just multiply that by one and that will give you the exact amount of water bottles that you need in your house. But honestly, when you go to grab a water bottle or your kids grab a water bottle, you usually gravitate towards a certain water bottle that you're using during that time. We've all got our favorites and those are the ones that we use and the rest just sit up in the cupboard. The next thing that you might consider decluttering from your house are old cookbooks or new cookbooks. When was the last time you actually, you were gonna make dinner and you sat down and you opened up a cookbook? I, for me, like I can't even remember the last time. We store all our cookbooks up here and I have decluttered these over the years, I guess, down to just a couple. Most of what I have is stored in this, which is a binder that my mom and my aunt put together. It's got a whole bunch of pictures of our family and recipes. It's hard to always think about going to a cookbook. Although, it was a goal of mine. I got this from my mother-in-law, the Pioneer Woman's um, cookbook. And I thought to myself, I have thought this many times, I should go through and every, I don't know, couple weeks, just open one up and just make it. Because she does such a good, uh, this, I'm not, this is not a plug for this book at all, but she just does a really good job of showing all the pictures and I just think it's a really nice cookbook and I bet it's delicious because she's amazing. Maybe that will be some sort of video challenge that I do or I don't know, or maybe, or maybe not. But I keep this for that reason, but I only have a couple more. Whoa, look at the puppy puppy. I'm more of a cat person, but whatever. This is one that I should probably get, this is my husband's. Uh, kill it and grill it. Preparing and cooking wild game and fish. I don't know if he's ever actually used this, but look at all the writing. I'm not, like, that's way too much writing for me. For a cookbook, you want pictures. How do I know what the Jamaican jerk venison's gonna look like if I can't see a picture of it? <laughs> I didn't even know we had some of these. The Great Year-Round Turkey Cookbook. Turkeys all year round. <laughs> No pictures. Oh, there's a lot of turkey recipes in this one. Crisp shrimp cakes? What? That's not turkey. It doesn't even have turkey in it. Peppery red cabbage salad? Also no turkey. Well, what the heck? I call bogus on this one. That's bunk. That's cap. The next thing that you might be able to declutter from your kitchen is... Tupperware! 
we're not too bad with the Tupperware. This is all the Tupperware we have. We recently started just getting glass containers which are with a really nice locking lid. And so I prefer those, but we still do have some of this stuff. Let me get back down here. Some people like to store these uh, with the lid on them, but I think that for us, a lot of times we let our dishes air dry and I'm always afraid that there's gonna be a little bit of moisture inside and then when you tighten that down, it's just kind of baking that nastiness inside of the Tupperware, unless, I don't know, maybe you just store it just like that. But what I'm going to do is just go through all of this Tupperware and make sure that each container has a lid and if it doesn't, it's gonna go. So this is a lid from a container that is not in here. And a lot of times we just keep these little deli containers because I don't feel quite so bad throwing them away if we are on a road trip or something where we're just packing some sandwiches and then we don't wanna to have to wash out that uh, container. So, but this one doesn't, I don't even know where the bottom to that went. So that I'm just gonna throw in the garbage. So that's not so bad. You know what? I'm just going to keep them like that. These are all dry because we haven't used these in a long time. And that actually looks kind of nice. I'm not even, I don't even care if it's there. Done. The next thing to declutter is something that I keep in this big uh, cupboard here. And I would really like to use this space as more of an extra food pantry area than what I use it for now. So let's just open it up and I'll show you that the next thing we want to declutter are baking pans. This box right here is all full of baking pans. So I'm going to go through it and see if I can make a nice pile of things that will go to Goodwill. I guess we'll just start at the top here with a couple of, I don't know, straws, I guess. So I need a garbage can. All right. I got a garbage can next to me now. So let's keep going. These are back before I had kids. I took a cake decorating class with a friend of mine and decided that was a really fun, creative thing to do. And I was going to be a cake decorator in my free time. And then I had kids and then I stopped having free time. Now I have a little more free time because the kids are older, but I am not decorating cakes. I'm making YouTube videos. So all of these cake, actually, I don't know what this is. This is like a little goodie bag thing. Oh, it's a bread bag. I don't make bread either. So just throw this bread bag away. On the occasion that I do actually bake and decorate a cake, I do use these um, disposable cake decorating bags. It's another bread bag. I also went through a I'm going to make my own bread phase. I don't know, maybe I'll give them to my mom someone who wants bread bags. Ah, I should just throw them away. Okay, we have a bunch of these little Dixie cups, which these are nice for summer or I can throw them in the camper. These are for when we have our raging uh, kegger parties. Just kidding. I don't know why I bought these. We have a lot of them, but they do work really nice for camping or for when we do have people over. We have a lot of cups. We have a wind, uh, snow tubing hill in the backyard, and so everyone, all the kids always want hot cocoa, and I bought styrofoam cups for that. Oh boy. Okay, next we have some bread pans for bread that I don't make, and then another bread bag. So I'm going to put the bread bag with the other one. My mom and my sister make bread, and so maybe I can give those to them. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to set this in a pile. This is what's left over from my cake decorating supplies and some lemon baking chips that I forgot I had in here. So then this has all of the colors. I seriously, I went crazy and bought all this stuff and then just had a kid. <laughs> then we've got muffin tins. So I don't really ever make muffins, but a friend of mine gave me this one recently that has these silicone cups that uh, you know, poke in. And I kind of like that because it just makes it easier to get the muffins out. So I'm probably going to keep that. And then whenever you make muffins, you generally make two dozen muffins. So I'm going to keep that one and one other muffin tin that leaves me with one that I can get rid of. This one is a huge muffin tin. We haven't used this in forever, so I'm going to donate it. The thing about these baking pans is that every time I go to a thrift store, which is quite often, there's tons of baking pans. And so if you ever throw something, you know, donate something like this and get rid of it, and then you end up wanting one, you can usually find this stuff for pretty cheap at thrift stores and you can just use them and then donate them back. It's kind of like, uh, like a rental that you've paid for. So like a, a rental. This one we bought as an, to make like egg patties for egg McMuffins. And 
we did that once and never have done that again so I'm gonna put that in the pile to donate as well I have my two muffin tins bread pans I don't know maybe someday and then my cake decorating stuff I'm gonna leave out here because I'm gonna go through the second shelf I've got two of these pampered chef dishes and I don't use them that much I use the big one for casseroles and the small one sometimes for cakes which is like never but they are really nice pans and I do like them a lot so I'm gonna keep those and we use this all the time to roast vegetables okay so this here is my popcorn pan all the canned goods are gonna stay in here the Christmas cookie cutters I'm going to bring into the basement okay so then we've got a random Tupperware bowl all these cake pans okay so the thing about these cake pans this is one of the it's like a cheesecake pan but we don't make cheesecake so that can go cake pans okay so these I'm not sure why we have these is this for cheesecake this is for something, but these can go. I didn't even know I had these. This is the bunt pan, and I feel like a bunt pan is a nice neutral pan. So that's one we're going to keep. 8-inch cake pans, 10-inch cake pans, and 12-inch cake pans. And, you know, you could make all these and make a layered cake, which I will never do. And then I have a huge bag of rice. Surprise! I thought I had more cake pans than this. I think I actually decluttered some of my cake pans at one point. I think it's good to have neutral cake pans so if you have a cake pan that is in the shape of a number one because your baby turned one and now your baby just graduated from high school you could probably get rid of that cake pan or any of the shapes because you can pick those up pretty inexpensively at the thrift store or just make a neutral cake pan and if you want to make a square cake and all you have are round cake pans just make a round cake and it won't matter and eat it and you will forget that you ever wanted to make a square cake. If I can get rid of some of these other pans, I feel like that's pretty good. So let's see if I can put these in that. Aha! Store those in there. Stick this back in here. And some of these pans back in there. Put the rice out of there. Put my bunt pan in there. Okay, so now I've got room for this stuff down here. So at least all of my cake pans are now in that one box. And yeah, so this is the stuff I'm getting rid of, those pans, and then I'm going to bring those cookie cutters downstairs. Another thing that you can probably get rid of in your kitchen are kitchen towels and linens. And no, that's not even in the frame, so let's move that. There we go. So we just kind of end up with lots of towels and we get them for gifts and it's hard to get rid of them if they're not totally worn out. Many years ago, I ordered this pack of white lint, white dish towels from Amazon. And I think it was Martha Stewart, some Martha Stewart video that I watched that she recommended these. And I use them, it's really hard to stand like this. I'll kneel. <laughs> even worse. I use these all the time. I will use them to dry off fruit or vegetables if I wash them. I use them under a cutting board if I'm going to cut up, chop up a bunch of vegetables or something for dinner. I'll just lay this out under the cutting board and then when I'm done it's just you take the cutting board and you throw it in the sink and then you just fold this up around all the stuff and shake it into the sink or wipe off the counter when you're done. I use them if I'm going to bake something, so I just lay it down and put my big mixer on top of it to catch all the flour and all the extra little crumbs and stuff that falls out of the mixer, or I just use them all the time. I mean, some of them look pretty nasty at this point, but um, I know they're clean and we dry dishes with them too, but there's so many uses for these. And there's another plug for those Swedish rags because I love them. I don't really see any that are too bad in here. Look, like that one's really gross, but I know that it's clean. It's just stained. Every now and again, I go through and find kind of the gross ones that have stains and I'll use them either as rags or I just throw them away because we just end up with, does everyone else have so many rags? Like everything turns into a rag. We don't need a hundred rags. We don't have a career in anything that needs rags. Go through your stuff, get rid of some of it, maybe contain it all to just one drawer. If, you, if it's so overflowing that you open this up and you can't even, can't even open it or you're shoving it all in to get the drawer closed, then maybe try and find a few things that you can take out of there. The next thing that you might be able to declutter from your kitchen that you might have too many of and they just accumulate and they don't take up too much space, so a lot of times you let things slide, but this thing is 
kitchen utensils. So this is kind of the bulk of our kitchen utensils. We also, without making you sick, um, have another little thing that we keep some of our more used utensils right there. So this is kind of the, the catch-all. I'm going to see if I can find some that I can get rid of. So like this slotted spoon, first of all, it's melted. And we also have a slotted spoon over there. So I am going to throw this one in the donations. This is an apple corer that we also have this one that the kids use sometimes. I usually just use a knife and cut an apple, but um, I don't really think we use this very often. And I'm going to just donate that one. Again, all of these things too, you can find all of this really uh, inexpensively secondhand. I mean, this little steamer basket. I don't really use this steamer basket ever. I'm not going to store that in here. I'm going to put that in this cupboard down here. Well, this is a case to a thermometer that we obviously don't have in here. So that can be thrown away. Everything else I'm okay with. It's just the one, one cupboard, one drawer, and I can kind of see everything that we have in there. If you like this style of video, a little bit more candid and the decluttering. Oh, look, there's my little ring light reflection well that's cute ah there it's right there too it's everywhere the ring it was a creepy creepy movie if you like this video not the ring be sure to hit the like button and then you can click on one of the links if you're interested in more decluttering videos and we'll see you in the next one bye